Hey, what up everyone? DredgeX97 here. How y'all doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom tread shot that I made based off of, of course, Shattered Glass Tread Shot because I am falling in deep with Shattered Glass. Now this figure is a repaint that I did of the new Studio Series Jazz um, because I know I can never afford the actual tread shot, but they had two Jazzes at Walmart, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I'll get it. Um, yeah, the color scheme is based mostly, mostly off the official. Uh, only difference is I didn't paint the windows. Uh, I thought about painting it black because yellow would be a little, well, it, it would turn out green and that would be a little off. So, um, if you look closely, sorry, you'll notice that there's some paint chipping already. That happened during transformation. Uh, not not fun um, right there there's some yellow that's due to tape not wanting to stick properly and then there's some yellow there that's due to transformation due to a certain hinge for the neck and then white right there due to this flipping out for the transformation so yeah yeah this guy is not wanting to cooperate <laughs> But I still like the way he turned out. He is, of course, blue with silver in the front and then a silver stripe and then black in the back with silver and blue spoiler. Um, I didn't paint the tail lights because I don't have any red paint, but I think I might want to get some. Here he is with Power of the Primes Ricochet, which I'm using as my Shattered Glass Jazz. And yeah. <laughs> There you go. Now you got him in his robot mode. And yeah, I like the way this turned out. Um, I wish some of the painting would have worked better. Like for the yellow, I use a paintbrush. And as you can tell, I kind of got some on the black, but let's just do that. Boom, problem solve. And then, oh yeah, with the spray paint, uh, quite a bit of it got on the back of the legs. Let's see which link shows it. Um, yeah, you can see right in there. All of this was pretty much blue. Uh, so when I started adding yellow to it, it just turned out green. But yeah. Um, so for the head, I shaved. I, I snipped off the ears with some wire cutters. And then I shaved down the ear flap <laughs> to the skull, basically, to the helmet. Uh, for the eyes, I don't have any blue paint besides spray paint, so I just use some painter's tape. Because why not? <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much him in his robot mode. And here he is compared to the original Studio Series figure. As you could tell, shaving off the ears and swapping up the colors and flipping out the doors leaves him looking quite, quite a bit different than Jazz, honestly. And I... I like this. I like how they're the same figure, but have slightly different options to display them. And yeah, it just works. Now, if only Hasbro can do an official version of this, that way people don't have to worry about, oh, you know, paint mishaps and paint chipping. I feel like this guy should probably be in the next um, uh, Hasbro Pulse Shattered Glass set because I think people would buy the crap out of that. Alright, so comparing Treadshot to Power of the Prime's Ricochet, which is my Shattered Glass Jazz, uh, the new figure definitely makes the older one look like a beefcake, and in my opinion, the older figure looked kind of scrawny compared to the original Reveal the Shield Jazz, so I, I kind of like it, you know, kind of makes Treadshot seem like an underdog compared to the beefcakes of Prime's boys. Actually, speaking of uh, underdogs... Here he is compared to my runamuck and runabout. <laughs> uh, you know, all you gotta do is just change the names and who they're opposites. But yeah, I 
I do think the Jazz figure is a little too small, and I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but I think it works nicely for the character of being a scout. Being all small and nimble, especially compared to this beefcake. I mean, look at this! This is a Voyager, and this is a... Deluxe? Yeah, um, well, I mean, to quote that song, the times they are changing, but actually, I guess they're about the same size. He's about the same size as Big Daddy in height. If you have a breakdown, not breakdown, downshift from Cybertron, then you know exactly how tall he is. <laughs> oh, he's so tiny. He's so tiny. Look at him. He's so little. And then... I don't know if I'm going to paint this Ultra Magnus to be Megatron or not, but that's... Oh, that's cool. I mean, that's a nice size for Megatron. But... <laughs> oh yeah, one more comparison. And here he is with the boys that were supposed to save him in case Scrap went sideways. But guess what? They didn't show. And Scrap went parallel. Uh, what type of paints did I use? I used blue spray paint Rust-Oleum. Or blue rust -oleum spray paint. And then I use... What is this? Testers. Uh, I thought it was like Testers Mark. Testers uh, Silver. Which, again, I need to do another coat on the head. Uh, but I kind of like it. It looks a little battle damage. Like he's been shot a couple times. But still standing. And then I use Tamiya... Uh, XF3 Flat Yellow and xf1 flat black so that's how i got the colors and of course the shattered glass stickers were courtesy of toyhacks.com go online and order your set today it costs money there's no sponsorship there's not going to be a hey click this link and you get a discount <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this little look at a custom figure if hasbro's watching please Make this, uh, th this guy, not, not these guys. Make Treadshot the next Shattered Glass box set. Otherwise, the world's going to run out of blue and yellow paint. <laughs> this has been Dredge. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be safe out there. And peace out.